Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we're going to be looking at the Halo 3 Brute Stalker from McFarlane. This figure stands just about six and a half inches tall with his helmet on, only a tad bit shorter with the helmet off. As you can see, the helmet is detailed nicely, a couple different shades of gray and gunmetal, and it's got the little green lights on there and blue or red light on the front. Only problem is it doesn't snap on like the other ones do. I mean it stays on well enough but it can also fall off fairly easily. So his helmet counts as an accessory and the only other accessories he has are the two uh, spikers or spike rifles which are done really well. They look really cool. I would have liked to have him come with maulers instead but they didn't make them at the time so the spikers will have to do. He has the same articulation as the first Chieftain, I believe it looks like it, I'll see as we go through. Uh, new armor of course, new chest and uh, torso, new forearms, and new shin armor. A lot slimmed down since he's one of the sneaky brutes. And since he's one of the sneaky brutes, he has a variant, which wasn't actually sold as a variant. I don't think, it might have been, I don't know, either way, he has an active camouflage version, which as you can see, is made out of clear plastic and looks really cool. Really brittle plastic by the way. As you can see I had to put a screw in his hand to hold it together, but still pretty cool. So he's got ball hinge shoulders with a bicep swivel. The head's still same old ball jointed head. Hinged elbows, which are on backwards. This one's on backwards right now. Let's rotate it. So he's got hinged elbows and then the ball disc, or not ball disc, ball peg for the wrist, which still is really ugly, same as the first batch. He's got a ball peg for the torso, which gives him pretty good range of motion. Doesn't go forward and back as much as I would have liked, but same side to side. He's got those three part hips that has a swivel here, a swivel here, and a hinge on this last part. So really good range of motion. Really anything you want to do, you'll be able to do it. The knees have a hinge and a rotation at the top of the boot. The armor pops off if the glue comes off by the way so I'll have to glue that back in. A lot of this kind of this kind of thing happens a lot with the older Halo figures. They didn't use a good glue and these type of pegs that hold them in are really junky. So keep keep mind when you're handling it that you don't pop it off like I did. The foot is on a hinge that swivels and that'll cover the articulation. So it's a pretty cool figure but not the best. He's really kind of bland compared to some of the other Brutes, so don't be too excited to pick him up. But if you're going to collect the Brutes, he's kind of a nice one to have. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more figure reviews and custom figures and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.